So here at The Natural Path, we have been doing digital thermography for many years. My husband, David Eide, brought this modality in in 2003. There have been several thermographers over the years, and I took it over in 2012. We use camera equipment from ICI. It's a very small camera with a very powerful software. The way that digital thermography works is to identify and detect heat patterns in the body. So you may have seen it used on houses to see what kind of heat is escaping. When we're using it with the body, we're looking for vascular changes. We wanna see if there's any sort of abnormality, is the tumor or the clogged node or the congestion causing a heat pattern. Mm. When there is an abnormality, it's gonna ask the body for sustenance. It's gonna ask for more blood. There's going to be responses in the blood cells that do create more heat. That's why thermography is such a valuable tool. Mm -hmm. When that particular area in the body looks heated or it shows up in your scan as somewhat heated, what does that really mean? What does that imply to someone who's looking at that scan? It can imply that we want to do some further studies. Okay. What we do is we take the images, I do those images, we send them out to a medical doctor by the name of Dr. Gene Stryker. Dr. Stryker then provides the medical report and assessment and recommendation mm. as to what's the next step. So ideally you come in, you have your scans and she says, it looks great, we'll see you in a year, come back in a year. She might say, you know, we need a better baseline, let's have you come back in three months, six months, see if there are any changes. What we're looking for are changes. If there's mm -hmm. anything that's inconsistent in the heat patterns, mm -hmm. we want to know about that. I see. Is it possible, Kelly, that depending on, you know, if I just worked out and then I'm coming to do my scan, or if I just, um, I don't know, I'm getting over a flu of some kind, or if or some kind of a sickness that my scan may look different. There is some preparation involved in order to do breast thermography. We give you um, a questionnaire that you fill out to give us some medical history. We also give you information as to how to prepare in the days preceding your thermography. Mm -hmm. It's not extensive. Uh, we ask that you not do any major workouts 24 hours before your scan because we do not want any um, excess heat in the body. Uh, one of the big ones here in Minnesota that I always remind my clients is please don't turn on your heated car seats when you're on your way to visit me. Oh. Who would think of that? Okay. That heats up the body. Okay. Um, not drinking any hot coffee, mm. hot liquids two hours prior or eating two hours prior. So it's a pretty simple preparation. It's a non-invasive technology. Mm -hmm. So here at The Natural Path, our goal is to always start with the least invasive process and move towards what may be needed. Mm -hmm. um, what do you say to someone who is considering doing this What's the right age group to start to create that sort of baseline? What, do you say someone in their 20s come in to do this? Someone older? What's the right age group? Absolutely. There are strong recommendations that people do thermography to get a baseline at an early age. Much earlier than mammograms are usually recommended by the medical community. I like to see someone in their early to mid 20s come in for their first scans mm. and then they don't have to come every year provided we haven't seen anything unusual. Every three years or so is recommended um, up until about the age of 35 
Mm. And there are recommendations uh, based on your overall health. So if you're seeing one of our practitioners and you're dealing with a, a certain health problem such as fungus or lymph congestion, we may want to run those scans a little more often in the younger people. Mm. The blessing in doing this in your 20s is that when you get to your 40s and your 50s and your 60s, when as women in the United States of America, we are much more susceptible to breast cancer, mm -hmm. we've got those comparisons to identify at an early moment what might be a problematic area mm. and be able to use some natural processes to help alleviate it, get you over to whatever sort of additional testing might be recommended by our medical doctor, Dr. Jean Stryker. Mm -hmm. So when Dr. Stryker looks at this report, what usually comes from that analysis? I'm gonna show you an example okay. of a report that you would get after you do your images. We send that out. She sends back within two weeks, you receive a paper copy of the images of the scan along with the reports. Now what she's doing actually is reading something called the Delta T. What that is, is measurements of heat in comparison. So she may be comparing the left nipple to the right nipple. Mm -hmm. We're looking for differences. Mm -hmm. That's what we're hunting for. Mm -hmm. She then writes a report that includes recommendations. Mm -hmm. She may go into some uh, recommendations regarding supplementation, um, something such as iodine, vitamin D3 is very, very important for breast health. Mm -hmm. And she'll give us an idea of what might be a next step if there is something questionable. Either come back in three months for a baseline, mm -hmm. perhaps go to your medical doctor for mm -hmm. an ultrasound or mm -hmm. an MRI. Mm -hmm. What percentage of people come to you that have a doubt that something's wrong with them? People often come in for the peace of mind that you mentioned earlier, Raina, which is they may have had a mammogram and there's something questionable on there and they want to see if they can gather further information. Thermography is for gathering information about what's going on in your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. For people that have come in here, can you share any patient stories or client stories that um, that came from doing the scans? My, my favorite topic is something that you mentioned earlier, which is peace of mind can affect us in such a marvelous way. If we know that our body is clear and that we're feeling healthy, it takes away the stress and the worry. Mm. Many women will come to me saying, you know what? I just feel like there's something wrong. And I'll give you an example. I had a woman about a year ago right now mm -hmm. who came in, her mammogram had been clear. She had never had any problems. And she said, I have an intuition there's something wrong in my left breast. Mm. So we did the images, we sent them out to Dr. Stryker and it came back and there was clearly a problem. Now. Thermography is not a diagnostic tool, so we didn't say you have cancer. Mm -hmm. We don't do that here at mm -hmm. The Natural Path. Dr. Stryker doesn't do that with her reports. She says this warrants further study. So uh, my wonderful client went directly to her MD. They actually took the thermography information. They referred her to an ultrasound and an MRI, and she did indeed have an active breast cancer mm -hmm. that was effectively dealt with um, using some natural processes and some medical intervention and she's doing great today. That's amazing. Yeah. So she actually did a mammogram first and that didn't show anything. Then she did the digital thermography and something showed up and then she went back and did an ultrasound and yes. there was something there. And she followed her intuition I've also had a woman come in who had been given numerous testing in a very famous clinic and had been told she had breast cancer hmm. and was preparing to have a double radical mastectomy. And guess what? It was an active cancer. Oh. And on thermography, our medical doctor came back and said, I 
have to question this diagnosis. Let's get a second opinion. We did our work that we do here with electrodermal screening. Mm -hmm. She also followed up uh, with some other um, practitioners and discovered that what she had was a intense case of candida infestation. It clogged up her entire lymph system. It was appearing on the scans that were being done um, through mammography and ultrasound that she had cancer. And guess what? That was over two years ago today. And she's 100% clear of candida. Wow. And didn't have to have the surgery. That is, that is a powerful story. I wonder how many people go through that sort of an experience. And, you know, many times when you're dealing with cancer, the doctor will say, we will only know for sure if it's a cancer or not once we biopsy the sample, which means we have to get in there, take the sample, and then biopsy it. So no matter what, a patient has to somewhat go through that. But just the fact that there is another way to look at that same issue and have another opinion, that to me is very, very powerful. Um, I really like that option. I really, really do. I do have to ask, and maybe this is expertise specific, but why did you focus on just breast cancer or breast health, I should say? What about if someone has oral cancer, if someone has an issue with their um, you know, dental um, area, or if they have issue with their, uh, I don't know, ovaries or uterus, is that something that can be captured through digital thermography too, or is it just the breast? Well, we originally chose to really focus on breast thermography due to Dr. Bill Hobbins, who, here's his book, Breast Cancer Boot Camp. Dr. Hobbins was the founder of digital breast thermography. He was also our mentor here at The Natural Path. Uh, he passed away recently, and he was in his 90s. Mm -hmm. And he actually worked with us and did reports up until about 2012. He wrote this book in 2013. This is really the Bible of breast thermography in my world. Wow. And um, he uh, really saved many, many lives and helps us to work with people to save their own life too. Mm -hmm. What was what was some of the things that he shared with you that maybe you can share with us? That would be wonderful. Um, he was a strong believer in faith. He was a absolutely faith-based um, medical doctor and he so believed in listening to your own body he empowered women to know exactly what we want and how to get it mm -hmm. and he said you need to take that power and bring it into your health and trust in your faith that's amazing that's amazing so one thing I'd like to mention is about dental thermography. Sure. Now, we certainly expanded into that many years ago. We've worked with many, many holistic dentists um, in the uh, Midwest area. We can do images in color and black and white for both breast and dental. Wow. What we're looking at here are two images of someone who came in with no symptoms whatsoever. Mm -hmm and we were just doing some sample thermography and we spotted these pockets mm. and these drainage patterns. Sure. We subsequently did some further scans and evaluation. We worked with the holistic dentist and it turned out to be a very, very serious infection of the molar. Why is that important? Yeah. It's important because we believe that a vast amount of the breast cancer in this country is due to infection from drainage from the mouth. Dental drainage is a very common thing. There are many studies to support this. Mm. Um, in this client's case, she went in and a, I think your regular dentist would have probably recommended root canal. We see so many root canals using dental thermography that have ongoing latent infections that it just sends up so many red flags to me as a thermographer that mm. we, working with the holistic dentist, she determined that she would prefer to have that molar pulled. She did that. 
and we follow her as a client, her entire body health pattern changed. It changed within a period of approximately four to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Everything changed. Her blood pressure changed. Her readings on the electrodermal screening changed. It was very dramatic and it was all due to this one latent infection that was asymptomatic, no mm -hmm. symptoms at all, that we spotted on thermography. So what do you recommend for people? Root canals are so common. They really are. And as someone who, you know, I know that you can't give medical advice, but what do you typically say to someone when you share the story? Should they be coming? And if they are experiencing any kind of dental issue or foreseeing a dental procedure being done to kind of work with you with this stuff before and after or what's the best way to use it? Yeah, if you're working with a holistic dentist, they're likely going to request that you do have a dental assessment using electrodermal screening, which can evaluate all of the different types of composite, uh, even the Novocaine, all the things that a dentist used to find out if it's compatible with your body. That's one of the big problems is mm -hmm. compatibility. So we do that. In addition to that, the dentist may suggest that thermography would be beneficial in the case that we discussed earlier to find any sort of infection that doesn't show up on x-ray. These kind of things don't show up. Remember, we're looking at heat patterns. Mm -hmm. That is quite telling and that picture is quite telling. Is, does Dr. Stryker, is she, is her expertise with breast health or you also send her the dental images and other, um, other areas of the body? So Dr. Jean Stryker, who does our actual medical reports, mm -hmm. is a interventional radiologist. She, mm. She's out of California. She's extremely well known. We are so blessed to have her as our reader. Mm -hmm. um, she's really renowned in her field and okay. she works with some of the most intense breast cancer situations okay. from a medical and more holistic standpoint. If I have a breast thermography appointment with you, um, I know you talked about preparation for it and thank you for covering that with us. What should I expect in the procedure and how does the procedure work? So when you come into the natural path for breast thermography, you will have done your preparation that we discussed earlier. Then you and I will sit down and take as much time as we need to discuss your history, go through the forms that you filled out, and really identify what is your purpose for being here. Then we move into what I call the cold room. It's about 62 degrees, and you'll be seated in a chair. You'll take off your top and your underclothes. We'll put your hair up using a headband and you sit there for about 10 minutes in the cold and you're cooling down. We're getting the body cooled down. You have a fan blowing on you. After that 10 minute cool down, I come back in the room. I check the temperatures. We talk a little bit more. It's usually about a total of 15 minutes to get your body to the proper temperature. At that point, using our camera equipment, we take the images and there's nothing invasive about it. You don't feel anything. It's just like taking a picture. And then you're finished. That usually takes maybe 10 minutes. And then you get to get dressed and I give you a hot cup of tea. So here on the screen, I've put up an image of a breast thermography. If you can see my pointer here, as I move it around, it's taking temperature measurements. Our medical doctor uses this high-tech software in order to identify any te temperature differentials. It's called Delta T. And you can see that the temperatures numbers change as we move through here. I'm not the person that does that. Our medical doctor does that. What I use that for is to make sure that your body is cooled down enough in order to get an effective image that we then send off to Dr. Jean Stryker. I see. So once we've taken the images and I send them off to Dr. Stryker, she does her evaluation 
and she sends back the results and we mail those to you. We mail them in a hard copy. You get two copies, one for yourself, one for your medical professional if you choose, and you get that within two weeks. Within in, two weeks. In the mail. That's, that's wonderful. That's really good. Is there anything else you want to explain to us about this process, Kelly, that we may have not captured? I think it's really important for women to realize that we have choices. So many times I have women come in mm -hmm. who've been through the medical community mm -hmm. and they really feel that they have been bulldozed into making a choice that wasn't in keeping with what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So I encourage people to speak up for yourself, to explore what are the possibities and um, come visit us at the Natural Path.